All right, today we're going to talk about Bluetooth to Harris radios. Now, Harris Series XL 185, 200, and some other radios actually have built-in Bluetooth. So if you're going to pair one device like a microphone, there's no need to pair it with our adapter. But the reason why we're going to show you with our adapter is because you could pair two devices at one time, such as a Bluetooth microphone and a remote switch. So this comes in handy for different applications. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to connect the device. You just attach it to the radio with a little lip on the adapter, screw it on the bottom. And then like most of our adapters, if you've seen our videos before, uh, basically you're going to hold down the push to talk button on the adapter and turn on the radio at the same time. So again, I'm going to press down on the button here. So it's a clear button and I kind of hold it with the tip of my finger and I turn on the radio. And what we're looking for is for this button to turn blue and red. That's usually the common colors for pairing. So you'll see that light go on now and now it's flashing blue and red. And in our microphone, we will do the same thing. So we're going to put this in a pairing mode as well. We'll turn it on, wait for the blue and red. And once that starts flashing, now it's going to be in pairing mode. Now, most of the time what happens is that these lights will turn solid blue, but on our Harris adapter, the light actually goes dormant. And the reason for that is we don't want a light at night giving away our officers. So we purposely created the firmware that that light will not turn on. And the same thing with our microphone, the LED will shut off. But to test this theory to see if the push to talk is working, we're going to uh, PTT on the radio and you'll see the key light on the radio come on. So we know that there's transmission. I will turn on a receive radio just to uh, make sure that we are transmitting audio. So I'm gonna push the talk and you can hear there that there's actually audio coming through. So we are successful in our pairing. So again, if the LED light doesn't appear when you're doing push to talk, don't worry about that. That's just a characteristic of the microphone there. Or not the microphone, rather the adapter. So I'm gonna shut the whole unit off and show you once it's paired how to relink it. So I'm gonna turn off the radio there. I'm gonna power down the microphone. Okay, so everything is off. Now ordinarily, when you turn on the radio and you turn on the mic, these two units will link together. But there's a reason why it doesn't link. So what I'm gonna do first is turn on the radio, let it cycle through, and I'm gonna show you why it doesn't link. Uh, the purpose why we did it this way is because if you don't have a Bluetooth microphone attached, you still want to be able to transmit and receive through the radio. So that is another reason why we did it like that. So you could actually transmit, you could hear the radio there, uh, and then you could talk back and you could hear what's going on through the radio. So I'm gonna turn on the microphone and I'm gonna show you the process to actually link it together. So once the microphone is on, what you do is you press down on the push to talk button here until you see the LED appear. You wait a few moments, maybe 10 or 20 seconds for the microphone and the adapter to link. So that is always the process. Once you turn on the microphone, you turn on the radio, you have to press down on the push to talk button to establish a link between the microphone and the adapter. And again, that's our fail safe. So if the microphone battery dies on any unit that you're using, after around 15 seconds, the link will disconnect and get right back to the radio so you could transmit and receive. But now that it's connected, uh, you can see that the light comes on and you can see the radio there is uh, actually transmitting. So that is the process on how to pair and how to establish a link between the microphone and the radio. Uh, also other features, you do have the option of connecting a wired headset here and uh, you could also push a talk from the adapter. So that's another cool thing that we did. The next process is that we're gonna show you how to pair the wireless push to talk button to the adapter. So the same thing, you turn off the radio 
And I'm gonna turn off the microphone so when I turn it back on, it's not gonna to try to uh, pair. And then what we're gonna do here, we're gonna actually press and hold the push to talk button on the remote switch until it's turning blue and red. There we go, so you can see the blue and red there. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna hold down the button and turn on the radio. Wait until it flashes blue and red on the adapter. Now here's the second part of the equation is to press it again. That's a slow flash, but that's how you're gonna pair the remote switch to the adapter. And this is true with all of our adapters. You have to press it a second time for the remote switch. Now the LED light went off on the remote switch, went off on the adapter, and now you can see that there is transmission going through the radio. So I'm gonna turn on the microphone now to create that link. But here's something interesting. Once the adapter is already paired to the radio, it already created a link. So now you don't have to do that press again on the adapter because we already went through that process with the remote switch. If you're not gonna do the remote switch, then when you turn on the radio, you do have to press down. So I give it around 10 or 15 seconds again to establish a link so the microphone will connect. Okay, there we go. So you can see the push to talk happening there. But now you can see the push to talk is going to happen right through the remote switch. So this is great because you could put it in your pocket, a steering wheel, a handlebar, around a weapon. Uh, and this makes a great addition. Also, the reason for the remote switch, if you're doing plain clothes, you can actually pair like a AirPods to the adapter, press this button, put it in your pocket and go from there. So that is the way how you connect uh, the remote switch. So if I turn off the radio and I forget to turn off the remote switch, it will power down by itself after around 10 minutes because there is no connection between the adapter and the radio. Uh, so that is the whole process on how to connect a microphone to the adapter and a remote switch to the adapter. All right, thanks for watching.